Here are the directions on how to schedule a meeting in Microsoft Teams and invite more than one team. First thing we're going to do is open our application for Microsoft Teams. Then we're gonna select Teams. You'll notice that I already have my Teams pulled up here. Then what you're going to do is select the team that you'd like to have a meeting with. I'm gonna select section 101. Next, in the top right corner, I'm gonna click the drop down menu for Meet, where it says More Options. Now, if you have not done the update, it will just say Meet, and then you will be given the option to schedule a meeting. Select Schedule a Meeting. This is where you're going to add all the details for your meeting. First things first, add a title. Then you're going to continue to work down the page to make sure all of your details are set. Next, after setting your title, you are going to move to required attendees. Select add required attendees. Then make sure that you type with very, with following these very specific directions. First, music, space, grade. So I'm gonna type in the word grade, and I'm gonna type in one for first grade. You might need to type in kinder, all the letters for kinder, then another space. Then I'm gonna type in the dash, space, and then my last name. And this will give me all of the sections that are assigned to me in first grade. So I've already invited section 101 and 101 and 102 are going to meet together. So I'm gonna add them to the meeting. Note below that I already have invited 101 because they are already in this meeting. That's where I started from. And then I added class 102. So now it's time for me to set my times. First grade is going to come to music class on the 17th. And just for the sake of this video, they come at 1 p.m. and they are there for 15 minutes. So I can update and type that in because it's a short time. All right, and there we go. So I have my date for their very first meeting for both of these classes to attend, and I have their time set. Now, what happens if they are going to come more often than once? So let's click this one right here, this little circle that means recurrence. Let's click do not repeat, and let's look at our options. They could come every day to your class. Maybe if you were a math or science teacher, that would work for you. Or daily or weekly. Let's check out the weekly one. This will say they come every Monday at that time. That might work for you. But if it doesn't, that's okay. Let's go down and click custom. So we're gonna start on the 17th and they are going to meet every Monday, but you know what? They're also coming back to me on Fridays for enrichment time. So I'm gonna have them, I'm gonna add it for Monday and Friday. And you know what? I have a teaching partner at my school. And so they are, one week they're gonna be with me and the next week they'll be with our other teacher. So I'm gonna click every two weeks. So I will see them Monday, Friday for one week, and then I will see them Monday, Friday the following week, or two weeks later, excuse me. And then I can select an end date. And for sake of this, I'm gonna make sure that my meetings, this schedule ends at the end of the first grading period because we might need to adjust our schedule then. And click save. Okay, so after you've set your recurrence, you're gonna move down to location. So since you are already working in the application of Teams, you will not need to set a location. Teams will automatically create the link so they jump into their Outlook, Outlook, excuse me, to find it. So you will not need to find that to add a location. Next, you can add notes. You can say materials or things that are exciting or reminders that are things that you want your friends to know and remember before they come to class. And then you'll hit send. And now it will show up on your calendar. So we're gonna to go to the 17th. And there it is, my test meeting. I can click on it and it will show me the details of my friends that were invited to the meeting. I hope this helps. Best of luck to you. If you have more questions, please let us know.